Hey everybody, it's Chip from the Low Tide Boys, and today we're going to tell you all about the Orca Veneer Flex Swim Run Wetsuit. So we're going to go over some details about the suit, how much it costs, a brief overview, give our first impressions and review from testing the suit out in real swim run conditions. We'll give you some pros and cons, and then finally we'll tell you who is this what suit for. All right, let's dive right in. The Orca Veneer Flex comes in nine different men's sizes and five different women's sizes. It costs $259, so this puts it squarely in our entry-level wetsuit category price range. So you're going to get a really good value here on a very durable suit that really can handle pretty much anything you throw at it. You'll see here right on the front side, uh, as usual, uh, you have your, your zip down to the waist. They have a really nice durable seams and attachments here in the collar around very solid, solidly constructed zipper. Uh, the arm sleeves have nice cuffs on here and in our testing and use of the suit, they held perfectly fine and didn't let any water in whatsoever. Uh, going down to the lower half of the suit, they do have a more running forward bottom on this. So this is a different type of neoprene that they're using. This is their DuraSkin 2 outer fabric on the run portion. And this really does enable you to have a pretty free run motion during the run legs of swim runs. In the back, you'll get the only pocket on the suit. It's a giant uh, pocket and it actually clocks in at 15 by 12 centimeters, which is nearly six inches by five inches for us American folks. In inches, there is a second interior pocket in between the shoulder blades on the back of the suit, and that's meant to hold your compression bandage or some situation like that. There's, It's not really meant uh, to, to handle any storage of any kind for any gels or anything like that. The design of the suit is pretty minimal, but they do have some pretty cool neon green accents on there. And again, it does come with arm sleeves, which is something that's pretty cool, especially at this price point. The arm sleeves are really good. They have cuffs on both ends. And when you have them layered under the cuff on the on the arm, you're really not going to have any issues. So let's dive into our first impression and our review of the suit. Before one of our races, we, we always like to host these swim run shakeouts where we meet up with the swim run community, test out a little bit on the course, and it gets a chance to, to help people get situated with their gear and just shake out some of those pre-race nerves. So I we were lucky enough to, to test this veneer flex suit from Orca during our 60-minute swim run and happy to report it performed very, very well. In the swim portions, there was enough mobility in the shoulders where it wasn't any additional constriction or fatigue. There was no hot spots where rubbing was happening on the collar or in the in the armpit area, which which is a, a, an area that we usually have high concern of. Uh, the runs felt very enabled and not very constrained uh, with the... the running bottom style that Orca has implemented here. And the zipper worked uh, just perfectly as expected and was pretty much out of the way. Arm sleeves were very comfortable and didn't have any issues with them whatsoever. Let's break down a little bit of pros and some cons about this suit as well. A lot of pros here. One, price. The price is right for this. A really well-made, durable, entry-level swimmer and wetsuit that would really do it all for you for around 250 bucks. You can't go wrong technology and durability. Orca has been making wetsuits for a very long time. They, they know what they're doing. They've been around for a while uh, in the triathlon space and in the open water space. So they know how to make a really durable, high quality suit. And that really shows through in this product. And it also uses the newest technology available in kind of the swim run wetsuit space. You have a more running forward bottom, you have detachable arm sleeves, and you have the mix of neoprene styles and, and types to, to help with heat. Storage volume. So this suit has a large amount of storage volume. It can hold a ton of stuff back there, but it can't hold everything. So let's cover some cons. Storage options. So this suit has just one singular pocket on it. Now, it can hold a lot of things in there. You could put, certainly put a lot of gels in there, your tether, an extra pair of goggles maybe, your mandatory equipment. Uh, you probably can't fit your paddles in there. You can't really fit a water bottle in there, but it's all in one kind of giant pocket area that over time would just be a, a real big hassle and not very convenient for a, a longer race. So if we were to use this suit, we would have to layer on additional storage top, whether that be a, a full sleeveless top or a, or a bra that has additional storage on there. If you like to hold your paddles when you're running or need more nutrition or nutrition storage areas, you would need some secondary storage options underneath this wetsuit. Heat management. 
So because the suit is entry level, it's not using the, the best and the newest technologies and the thinnest neoprene available. It's using stuff that's a little bit more durable, which usually means a little bit thicker. So if you're someone who tends to get really hot on the run legs of swim runs, and you do a lot of training in, in hot areas, or you have a, a lot of races in hot areas, this might not be uh, the best suit for some of those hotter areas. Because the neoprene is a little bit thicker, you would tend to overheat a little bit faster there. Women's size. So the suit is offered in nine different sizes for men, which is really great for men because you're able to really dial your fit in there. Unfortunately for the women, there's only five different sizes. So if you have a women's size, you might be in between some sizes and you might have to do some more experimentation with your sizes there. Um, we wish they would have a, a little bit more broad offering for women. So who is this suit for? Obviously, if you're a beginner or just trying to dip your toe into swim run and you're looking to not invest a ton of money into a swim run wetsuit, this is a really strong option for you. It has everything you need. It has the most current technology. It has arm sleeves and it's very durable and it will work in a lot of different environments for you. So we'd really recommend it if you're a beginner. Now, if you're a little bit more advanced and you don't want to beat up your more delicate and fragile suits, the Veneer Flex is also a really good option for like a training or a secondary type suit that you can treat a little bit rougher and you don't have to worry about being so so delicate. Overall, we would highly recommend this suit for anyone looking for a, a one suit to, to do it all for your swim run season. If you're looking for more swim run content like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our podcast and website at thelowtideboys.com. We'll see you out there.